I'm Sherry Boshett reporting for IMNG Medical Media. In the earliest days of the AIDS epidemic, doctors at San Francisco General Hospital started seeing cases of Kaposi sarcoma in young men. Now an old problem is back. Dr. Karen Leslie of San Francisco General's famed Ward 86 explains. Because patients are living longer, we're seeing uh, diseases that we see in, in older people. So a lot of our patients today have got uh, non-melanoma skin cancer, which is increased risk in HIV infection, even when you have well-controlled HIV. The Capuchis is an interesting story because, of course, we were seeing tons of Capuchis up to 1996. And then for, for maybe five, ten years, the incidence really uh, went down to negligible levels. But over the last six or seven years, uh, in San Francisco at least, we've been seeing an increasing number of Capuchis sarcoma patients. And these patients are, uh, there's a whole mix of patients. Some of the patients are very much like the old-fashioned patients with very low CD4 counts who've just not accessed care or were not diagnosed with HIV. Other patients uh, are known HIV patients with uh, good immune systems with a high CD4 count. And, and we've got a group, a growing group now, of patients with long-term um, HIV infection, well controlled, they've been on every antiretroviral regime and always adhered to therapy. And despite great T cell counts and unsusceptible viral load, they're presenting now with Capuchy sarcoma, which is, which is a new development. We desperately need better treatments for Capuchy sarcoma, because even the best chemotherapy that we have still a sizable proportion of patients do not clear. So that would be a big challenge. I think uh, looking ahead, we're concerned with the rise in other skin cancers that we're seeing, especially with an aging population. We've known epidemiologically that the, the non-melanoma skin cancer is increased in HIV, uh, both uh, basal cell cancers and squamous cell cancers, and indeed melanoma uh, as well. Uh, what we've sort of recently been seeing is some pretty highly aggressive tumours and recurrent tumours in our HIV patients. I think the dermatologists should be aware of the great um, hope that the AIDS 2012 conference showed. Uh, there may not be an end in sight uh, in terms of cure, but there is great progress in terms of preventing infection with pre-exposure prophylaxis. Um, the, the first successful vaccine trial in, in some populations in Thailand was announced. There is uh, the difficulties are that despite all the advances that have been made in the United States, only 28% of patients um, with HIV infection have the virus fully controlled. So still there are many people out there who don't know their HIV infection or are not on meds, even, uh, even in the United States, which is a big problem. Reporting for IMG Medical Media, I'm Sherry Bosher.